It is a book, and it's about the news. It's from the News Utopia series, and I'm going to warn you guys right now, there is a ton of spoilers in this coloring book, okay? Include 16 amazing paints to complete fantastic pictures of optimistic bunny Judy Hopps, fast-talking fox Nick Wilde, sweltering Sahara Square, freezing Tundra Town, and lots more from Zootopia. We haven't even seen Zootopia yet, or Tundra Town, and we've read a lot of them. You can also see they're in terrible peril in that scene, and we haven't seen anything about that. So if you like spoilers, come hang out with us. If you don't like spoilers, just a heads up that there are a lot. And these pages rip out, Ladybug, okay, to color. So there is the first page. Judy Hopps is a happy little bunny who lives in Bunnyborough. Judy wanted to become a police officer, so when she grew up, she did. Mr. Page. Judy is so excited when she finally gets her badge. Assistant Mayor Bellwether, a sheep, gives a speech at the police academy graduation. Then Mayor Lionheart, a lion, congratulates all the graduates. Judy's parents are very proud of her, but they are sad that she is moving to Zootopia to be a cop. Oops. Clawhauser, a cheetah, greets everyone who enters the headquarters of the Zootopia Police Department, the ZPD. What does he like a lot? Donut. He does. Chief Bogo is a Cape Buffalo. He is also the head of the ZPD. Judy joins the other officers in the briefing room. Judy is assigned to write parking tickets. She will be the best traffic cop ever. Judy's super hearing helps her know right when the meter runs out. Nick Wilde is a fox and has always lived in Zootopia. An elephant called Jerry, the owner of the ice cream parlor, refuses to sell a jumbo pop to Nick and his son, Finnick. <laughs> it's such a cute shot. <laughs> Judy convinces Jerry to sell Nick the Jumbo Pop, and she pays for it, too. Finnick thanks Judy with a toot toot. Oh my goodness, that's adorable. Except for one thing. Well, two things. Finnick isn't really a kid. He is a fully grown fennec fox. He's also not whose son. He's not Nick's son. Nick and Finnick drive to Sahara Square and melt the Jumbo Pops. They catch the melted liquid in jars. Then Nick and Finnick drive to Tundra Town where they pour the melted liquid into the snow to make little popsicles. In Savannah Central, where it's hot, Nick sells popsicles to all the lemmings. Judy sees everything that Nick has done, but when she challenges him, she ends up in wet cement. Judy is still on traffic duty, but she wants more important assignments, like the missing animals cases. Judy really misses home. The next day, Judy is writing a parking ticket when she sees a weasel stealing from a flower shop. What's his name? Duke Weasel Weaselton. Ha! That cracks me up. Judy quickly takes off after the thief right into little Rodentia. 
wrote in. Yeah. During the chase. Judy he saves... He found the biggest donut in Utopia. <laughs> the big donut. During the chase, Judy saves an arctic shrew from a huge donut. Judy then uses the donut to capture the weasel. Even though Judy caught the bad guy, Chief Bogo is angry that she didn't just let the real cops do their jobs. Outside Bogo's office, Bellwether promises Mrs. Otterton Judy will find her missing husband. Bogo gets even angrier. Bellwether knows Judy can do it. Judy borrows Claw Hauser's bottle to use as a magnifying glass. Judy looks closely at Mr. Otterton's case file, and she sees him eating one of Nick's popsicles. Meanwhile, Nick is getting ready to run another scam with Finnick. Judy shows Mr. Otterton's picture to Nick. She asks the fox what he knows about the otter's disappearance. Nick tells Judy that he doesn't know much but he takes her to the health spa where Mr. Otterton does yoga. <laughs> Yaks the Yak, who works at the health spa, remembers the license plate of the car that Mr. Otterton had left in. Flash, a sloth, is the fastest worker at the DMV the Department of Mammal Vehicles. He tracks the license plate for them. Flash tells Judy and Nick that the license plate is registered to a limo service. When they find the limo, two polar bears arrive and drag Judy and Nick away. This part we haven't read yet, huh? Judy and Nick are taken to Mr. Big, an Arctic shrew and the most feared crime boss in all of Tundra Town. He hates Nick. Fru Fru Shrew, that's hard to say. Fru Fru Shrew is Mr. Big's daughter. It is her wedding day and she wants to help Judy and Nick. How come? She does. Because Judy saved her for, with the big uh-huh. No icing on my wedding day. Mr. Otterton was the wedding florist. When the limo picked him up, he turned savage and then disappeared into the night. Judy wants to speak to the driver, Manchus. I'm probably butchering that name, sorry. Manchus tells Judy and Nick that Mr. Otterton kept yelling, Night Howlers! Night Howlers! Then suddenly, Manchus also turns savage. Manchus chases Judy and Nick through the rainforest district. What's savage? Uh, wild. Like a wild animal. Judy calls headquarters for help, but Clawhauser isn't paying attention. Judy uses her handcuffs to capture Manchus and saves Nick's life. And save Nick's life. Judy and Nick both fall off the bridge. Judy catches a vine and grabs Nick's hand. Clawhauser finally gets Judy's call and Chief Bogo arrives in the rainforest district. He does not look at her. Trapped in vines, Nick and Judy need to get down before they can explain to Bogo what happened. Bogo is angry and takes Judy off the case, but Nick persuades him to give her a little longer to solve it. Judy goes to Bellwether for help. Together, they search the traffic camera footage on Bellwether's computer. 
Look at how cute. She has little, she has sheep all over her computer. That looks like a Tsum Tsum, doesn't it? Yeah. It looks like the big poo. There's a giant, me there's a medium poo sheep from last year. <gasps> we want that so bad. There's a little sheep, so cute. The traffic camera footage shows Nick and Judy that Manchus was picked up and taken to the asylum. So they sneak inside. I wonder how they do it. My ladybug's very excited. Nick and Judy discover Mr. Otterton in the asylum. He is still savage. He is still savage and he broke his glasses. Suddenly, Mayor Lionheart comes in. Judy secretly takes a video of him. Lionheart and Dr. Badger are alarmed when they hear Judy's phone ring. Judy and Nick quickly sneak out and head straight to Bogo's office. Mayor Lionheart is arrested for caging the animals and Bellwether replaces him. At a press conference, Judy lets slip that only predator animals are turning savage. Nick is upset because he knows this will cause trouble between predators and prey in Zootopia. He leaves feeling angry. Judy doesn't feel like a hero, so she quits the ZPD and goes home. At her father's farm, she discovers that night howlers are really a type of flower. Judy realizes that the flowers are making the predators turn savage. She quickly races back to the city. Judy says sorry to Nick, and he records her apology on her carrot pen. They jump into the truck, and as they drive, Nick eats blueberries from a crate on the front seat. Judy and Nick discover a train car full of night howlers. They watch as a sheep loads the plant's pollen into a dart gun. Judy realizes Bellwether is behind the scheme. Bellwether plans to make the animals scared of each other so she can have power over everyone. Judy and Nick steal the train and head toward the ZPD through the museum. Bellwether is at the museum. She fires the gun at Nick. He begins to snarl, but his snarl quickly turns into a, I'm sorry, but his snarl turns into a smile. He had secretly loaded the dark gun with blueberries and recorded everything on Judy's carrot pen. And Judy has her, a hurt leg at some point because her leg is bandaged. Bellwether is arrested and the savage animals are cured. Mr. Otterton returns home, Lionheart is released, and Nick joins the ZPD. Judy is happy to have a new partner. Together they will solve cases big and small. The end. Thank you guys so much for watching Quake Toys and for hanging out with us. We are going to do some more Zootopia stuff. My ladybug is excited to do a little bit of painting, as promised. That this is uh, her payment and coloring. You're going to do what? Mixed what? Mixed media. Mixed media drawings. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching Quake Toys. If you get a chance, give us a big thumbs up and subscribe. And we'll see you in just a minute. Bye, guys. Bye.